What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday, and instead of doing Way Back Wednesday, we're actually going to start doing Wednesday's weekly report or weekly Wednesday's report. I'm not sure what order sounds better, but I think this will be a lot better than the Way Back Wednesday. A lot of people were having a hard time, like grasping the decks and seeing what they were like and i know it was hard to see the cards because of the camera we recorded on and stuff like that so if i could find a better way to make the cards appear on the screen i'll actually start doing way back wednesday for now but right now we're going to do the wednesday's weekly report and see how they turn out and see if you like it if you like this let me know if you like this more than the way back wednesday let me know and i could do this easily but in the first episode of weekly uh wednesday's weekly report i had Oh, such a weird word to say. We're actually going to talk about Shiftry and some new cards that were introduced to the game here. Now, if you see, Shiftry is banned from expanded format. And I know so many people are excited for this. Uh, people, you know, if we score down some, you'll see what, you know, uh, a lot of people can agree with this. It creates a strategy that will frequently win on the first turn of the game. And, you know, you can, uh, people can agree with that. You, Shiftry made it where your opponent didn't have a chance to go at all. They couldn't play a Pokemon at all. And it creates a non-interactive play environment where the opponent has little impact on the outcome of the match. And this is very true. If you, like, if you went second to a Shiftry deck, you literally couldn't do anything unless you started with a Wobbuffet or a ball toy and even then there was ways to actually win without it and here we see pokemon talks about how c dot nuzleaf are grass pokemon and it is possible to evolve into shift tree with force of giants plants and with the help of a devolution spray super scoop up and recycle you can use a giant fan over and over again you know giant fan flip a coin of heads choose one of your opponent's pokemon po one of your opponent's pokemon and shuffle that into your deck and uh you know the the giant fan strategy works consistently enough to cause concern Frequent first turn frequent first turn wins are a sign of unhealthy play environment and the shifter deck is capable of doing that a high percentage of the time. And you know you play shamans, bicycles, but uh, here we usually usually provide enough draw power to overcome uh, coin flips. Okay, let's talk about shaman and bicycle. But you here you see he talks about Wap and Ball Toy can stop the deck strategy, but only if the opponent starts the game with one of these. And even then, the Shiftry can deck can get around this Pokemon by using Lysander or other creative tactics. Tactics, And what it's talking about here is Wobbuffet and Ball Toy could easily be knocked out by Latios with the Muscle Band or Mew copying Latios. Uh, and that way you could knock out a Wobbuffet there, which is bad for the game. Even though if you start a Wobbuffet or Ball Toy, you could just knock him out with the Latios, which is not good at all. Currently, the expanded format contains over 15 Pokemon TCG expansion. As new expansions are released, powerful card combinations with other cards may arise. Therefore, we will we will aggressively monitor tournament results and new expansions for an unhealthy card combination. And if any cards have a negative or centralized effect on the meta game, we will ban them to maintain a fun and healthy play environment. Now, the cool thing here is, if you notice, they said we will ban them to maintain a fun and healthy play environment. So, if Pokemon sees another card that potentially has, you know, as much power as Shiftry did, then, uh, you know, Pokemon's not afraid to land, uh, to give out the Ban Amber, which is crazy. I mean, we've seen two banned cards within the year, and before this, it took 10 years before a card got banned. But I'm glad Pokemon is doing this. I think Shiftry was a very unhealthy deck for the game, and like I said, even with Ball Toy and Wobbuffet, you could use Latios, knock him out, and win the game that way. But let's uh let's start let's stop talking about Shift Tree. Everybody knows they got banned. Nothing too exciting here. And let's go over some Pokemon that were introduced in the game. And as you see here, there's a bunch of tabs from Poke Beach here. And uh, we'll start from the left right here. We'll go over the cards that are pretty powerful in the new set XY8 coming out in Japan here soon. But as you see here, there's a Magna Zone that was released. It has Magnet Circuit as often as you like during your turn and before you attack. You may attach a lightning energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon kind of like uh, as often as you like during the turn so often it's just like blastoise now you might be like why is this good would you this is another expanded card that you could play in rayquaza if you if you ever heard of rayquaza electric you attach as many lightning energy cards from your discard pile to rayquaza to actually knock it out but with magnet zone you can just attach them manually straight to a rayquaza which is good and expanded and that way you can actually uh, I forget what the attack's called. It does 60 times the amount of lightning energy you discard. So if you discard 3, that's 180. 
Uh, four, well, you do a 6, 12, 18, 240? Yeah, 240, which knocks out most EXs in the, uh, most Megas in the game, too, which is pretty interesting. So, Magnazone is potentially a great card for the new format, maybe, uh, especially for Expanded, but we'll see if it has any other effect in the game. Swine Up, not that great here. Now, <clears throat> the Mistrevious Typhlosion, they're not very good here. I forgot to actually X is out of these, so we're not going to go over those two cards here. How do me X? Okay, this is a pretty good EX card here. This card, the top two cards of your opponent's deck, and then 50 damage, attach a fire energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Basically, a setup card, and we'll go uh, why I think How Doom is good. How Doom EX by itself is not that great. The Mega is really good, though. But first, we got to go over Burning Energy from XYX. For XY8. XY8. There we go. This card can only be attached to Fire Pokemon. This card provides Fire Energy only, only while this card is attached to a Fire Pokemon. Which is weird because you only attach it to a fire Pokemon, so it automatically should be a fire Pokemon. <laughs> Whatever. But uh, if this card is discarded by an effect of an attack of the fire Pokemon this card is attached to, reattach this card to the Pokemon from your discard pile after applying damage and effects from the attack. So basically, you don't discard fire energies, they automatically come back into your Pokemon. And one of the biggest ones here is Reshiram, if you, uh, think. I think it's Reshiram. If you blue flare, you have to discard two fire energies. I uh, and once again, if you well, you can't turn off and dangle them onto it. I was gonna say if you Rayquaza and discard them, but that doesn't work that way. But there's some, there might be some other fire Pokemon I can't remember right now. Hopefully, blue flare, you discard the fighting energies. I I think it's Zekrom that actually hits itself. Uh, one hits itself, and one you discard two fires. Yeah, it is it is the Reshiram uh, that's a, expanded. Because you discard two fire energies, you do 120. And I know this because you play Typhlosion to get the energies at the discard pile. But now you can just automatically keep them on there. So Burning Energy is a cool card to look out. And it's actually probably one of the better uh, energy cards we've gotten in a little while. I mean, Herbal Energy was okay. The Psychic, the psychic one, it's okay. And, you know, Retreat Cost, Reduce is okay. The Lightning one... Could see some play with Jolteon, but I think you know the fire energy is probably the first one we're probably actually really excited for. So, burning energy, really exciting card. Next up is Gengar here, and everybody is excited about this card. Omnius Fog, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Place one damage counter on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. But what we're going to do here is Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has at least three damage counter, that Pokemon is knocked out automatically. And uh, we'll see if we can get a picture of Gengar here. Uh, it's weird that Poke Beach doesn't have pictures anymore. But look at this card. That looks sick. That's amazing. But like I said, the second attack here, if it has three damage counter, that Pokemon is automatically knocked out. So people are already hyping Gengar as it is. You know, you can, I don't know, you can play this with... Zubats, I mean with Golbats and Crobats, maybe you could play it with P Fortress. Uh, there's a lot of different combinations you can play with Gengar. We'd have to see what is the best option. I mean, there's Crobats and Golbats sound great to me. The only problem is Golbat uh, only puts down two, so you actually have to put down a Crobat. Uh, maybe you play this with Chandelure. I don't know what to see. The combination, but Creep Show really strong. Strong attack. I'm excited to see Gengar finally being playable once again. It seems like almost every Gengar has been somewhat playable, so they seem like they're continuing the trend there. Once again, the card artwork looks nice by itself. Next up is Miss Magius, which is a pretty cool ability here. Once during the turn, before you attack, when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may use this ability. Your opponent shuffle his or her hand into their deck and draw cards equal to the number of his or her prize cards remaining. So basically, if your opponent decides to take like, uh, you know, five prize cards and you evolve Shuppet into Miss Magus, I'm pretty sure it's Shuppet, you know, you uh, can bring them, bring them down to one. Yeah, Shuppet there. And uh, once again, these card artworks look nice. Look at that Miss Magus. But that's a pretty interesting uh, ability. You basically, you punish your opponent for taking Pokemon cards or taking prizes. And Deep Core 60 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Now next up, probably another one of the hype cards, especially with that new Burning Energy, Mega Houndoom EX. It has Inferno Fang, which does 80 damage. You may discard all fire energy attached to this Pokemon. If you do, this tech does 80 more damage. So, if you have the new Burning Energy, you have two on it. Instead of discarding two fire, they actually just stay on the Mega Houndoom. And you can constantly do 160, 160, 160, 160, with the Muscle Man 180. 
Maybe with the Verbic Laser 210. Oh man, it, it's oh, it's really good. And that's why it, Mega Houndoom is probably one of my favorite EXs out of XY8. Uh, so far, I mean, there's a lot of coming out. There's a break coming out, as you see from the Skyla on the side. There's a sh there's the new break cars that are coming out. XY8 is going to look like it's going to be a really fun set. It's going to be interesting to see. But what cards are you excited from XY8? And also, do you like this? Do you like uh, the Wednesday's Weekly Report where we go over some stuff? We might use some different site websites. There's Serebi. We can use Poke Beach. We can use 60 cards. Maybe uh, if six. I don't think Six Prizes actually just does anything. Poke Gym doesn't do anything either, but you know, we'll keep updating on Poke Beach every time something else news comes out. They're always one of the first ones to come out there. Six cards out there too. They don't have any of the XY8 scans up currently right now, so that's why we're going over on Poke Beach using them. But what do you think about this Wednesday's weekly report? Do you like it? What cards are you excited for from, from XY8? And how how happy are you that Shifter got banned? I know I'm happy. Uh, ready to see what regionals is going to bring here. What car what decks are going to be great at regionals since Shift Tree has been banned. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new about Pokemon. You got to update some. And if you want to get news automatically updated, like I said before, Poke Beach 60 cards are some great sites to look out for. Obviously, six cards for sure. But hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Alrighty, bye.